Hey guys, this is Ram from Speak of the Stars and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I will apologize if you hear any scraping, banging, hammering in the background. There is some construction going on pretty much everywhere. Um, there's a condo being built behind us. There's a, My dad's doing some backyard construction for his little shop. Um, someone doing construction across the street. So there's a lot of noise happening. So please ignore it if you can. Number two, I hope you enjoy my new setup. I added a new light over here. So I have now three lights to help me out. So there's this one over here. And then I have one here on the right side. It's not dark in this corner anymore. And then we have this one over here on top. So we're very well lit. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't blow out the colors and stuff. Anyway, today's video is gonna be about sketchbooks and why you should have one what's its difference against your official work of art type of sketchbook if you have one and why you should not be afraid of your sketchbook now i know a lot of artists on youtube may or may not have already talked about this um subject if i remember correctly holly brown way way like years ago talked about sketchbooks and uh, Jerry's Artorama's YouTube YouTube channel talked about being able to break in your first notebook or if it's if it's or breaking in a new notebook if it's new brand spying new and clean. I'll link the one for Jerry's Artorama. I'm not sure if I'll be able to find the one with Holly Brown and stuff. But I wanted to do my own take, my own experiences and how it helped me and how it might be able to help you improve your art. So let's start. So first off what is this sketchbook? It's a normal craft cover sketchbook. It's, it used to be something like this. This is a different brand though, so I bought it somewhere else. It just had a craft cover. It only had like white pages inside. It was really simple and I loved it because I could draw a cover on it. It wasn't particularly expensive. I think I got it for 80 pesos, maybe 100, I'd say. But it wasn't too crazy. And it doesn't need to be something like this. I just like this because it's it's pretty portable. It's not too big. I can just drop it in my bag. And if I need to go somewhere, it will be with me. So, why should you keep a sketch sketchbook? And I say sketch sketchbook because some people think of their sketchbooks as something where they should put their works of art and their final pieces. Amazing works. Therefore, I should not sketch type of thing. And I used to be like that in... Um, how old was I then? I guess maybe from elementary or when I, when I first started thinking about being a, a professional artist. Um, once I started being a bit more serious about it, I started thinking that I should only produce finished works and I shouldn't do sketchy stuff. And I'll actually show you an example of that later on. But first, we'll talk about why you need a sketchbook. You need a sketchbook, or I think you would need a sketchbook, it will help you if you need a sketchbook, because it has a variety of things it can do. I'm rambling, this isn't a, a thesis paper. Let's just get straight to the point. It's a way to store your ideas, number one. Now, because I have managed to use sketchbooks properly, quote unquote, or more efficiently in the past couple of years, I've learned that it can be something where you can just sketch and draw and dr dump some ideas and then if you feel like you are having a heart, uh, a heart block, that's a heart attack, no, you need a doctor for that, an art block or you don't know what to draw, you can just go back to an old sketchbook. This sketchbook, I first used it in September 2016, it ended, not sure, but I've had this until March 2018 and I used it as a sketchbook and I would put tabs. I did this recently. I went back to my old sketchbooks and I put tabs on things that I felt like I wanted to go back to just in case I felt like I didn't want to draw or I, I want to draw but I don't know what to draw. So I put a tab on this drawing. I put a tab on this drawing because it's a character design which you might see in the future. I still need to do it. Um, you'll see a tab here because I want to still do that fan art. 
and it's just a repository of joys. I mean, if I just do like this right now, even though I already, already did this piece, I can still use it for something else. So it's a repository for ideas. It's meant to help you when, you know, if you have an art channel like me, it's helpful. <laughs> it is also a way for you to flesh out your ideas. And for example, my sketchbook usually Let's start with the Flora series, maybe since it's already done. This is the one for Flora series Lajolus, and I would sketch out maybe the sword, her armor. I did some thumbnailing, which I will be talking about in the future. I drew the flower that I drew Lajolus. I did some colors. It's a way for you to do studies. It's a way for you to get your ideas out before you put them on your final canvas. And that leads me to my next point your sketchbook does not need to be perfect now i know i've seen a lot of artists or art youtubers or artists in general that um who would sell their sketchbooks with really 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 finished works and you think to yourself how the hell do they do that i have no idea to be honest given the state of my sketchbook but you don't need to feel or you shouldn't feel pressured to imitate that or to do something as awesome as that your sketchbook can and for me it should be as loose and as comforting and safe as it can be to you and maybe that's just me because i've always used my sketchbooks and drawing as an outlet for frustration emotions stress all of that so i tend to sketch and draw when i'm stressed but your sketchbook should not be intimidating to you and i feel like that's super duper important that it's supposed to be your safe haven for as an artist now to do that or to not feel like it should be perfect and amazing please remember that your sketchbook well, number one shouldn't be or doesn't need to be perfect and number two you can do it by just sketching just stay with pencils drop some colors on there write um make a mess of it see mine's all like dirty because of the of the of the lead um just make half formed humans draw a mouse not a literal mouse like an electronic mouse draw a charger um draw character designing right your, your sketchbook can be sketches can be little sketches your sketchbooks can also have cutouts. So I'll show you an example of something that I did yesterday. If you follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, you'd know that I was bad <laughs> and has not been focusing on making new videos. I am right now though. And I made this um, sketchbook or I bought this sketchbook before I put this to show that it's being used right now. And I turned it into a sort of inspiration folder. Now, or an inspiration notebook and right now they're all related to design because I'm a graphic artist and it's my job but also I really, co I really come to like looking at design and how it works so I cut out some old boxes of perfume that I've been keeping because they were so pretty or like this really well made for me this really well made packaging for VMV cosmetics or this packaging for my Pima confections watercolor set and I just put notes now some people would do this in the regular sketchbook but because I tend to go through sketchbooks really quickly and I sometimes forget about them uh, I'd rather have a separate notebook now that's one option some people also put notes in their sketchbooks or diaries even now this isn't I, I like keeping my stuff semi separate so I have my ideas notebook here and my goals and whatever they all put in that one in this one notebook I even have a tracker for my YouTube videos over here so I like keeping it separate but for some people and I, I actually know a lot of people who do this everything's just here but I like just keeping sketches here so that's you know that's just me you can do it whatever you want and this is where I make the distinction so when I was a lot younger, I felt the need that my sketchbook should be perfect. It should only contain 
um, finished works. Now, I'm pulling out this sketchbook from 2009. Uh, I 2009, I was 40 year high school. Oh, please be prepared. It'll be horrible. <laughs> no, I won't say that. Please be prepared. It's not as good as what I do now, is what I'm gonna say. It's a Best Buy sketchbook. To me, in the past, this was already next level. I was using loose leaves of um, recycled paper. So, you know, the, you know, just paper, printer paper. And it's even the brown printer paper like this because it was recycled. And that's what it, I used to sketch and draw on before and it, I would leave it scattered around. But having a bound book like this was like, yo, next level, bro. I am, I am an artist, bro, type of thing. And it was silly, but I guess it, it also makes sense because I felt like it's, I'm not worthy for it. So I feel like I should only put in finished works in it. So see the first drawing you find on here is already well a finished work for me back then and back then if i felt like a piece was not up to par to my standards i would rip it out so you won't see it here since i would clean it out but um if, if something wasn't up to par i'd rip it out because i felt that it tarnished the sketchbook but if you have a normal sketchbook like this Number one, it would lessen the chances of you having to do that. And it also would make sketchbooks a lot less precious to you, I guess. Or a lot less um, premium to you, I would say. But, I mean, some people keep their finished works in their sketchbooks too. But I like having it separate. Now, what I do then, therefore, is I have, like, for example, with the Flora series, I have, like, cardstock that I use or I would have notebooks or sketchbooks like this where where I actually keep the good stuff. So it's good stuff mostly because it's a higher quality paper, it's able to withstand my techniques a lot more, and this is where I put my finished pieces. And because I did my thumbnailing and my sketching in the other notebook here, it feels a lot less risky or a lot less pressure or a lot less intimidating to work on it i mean even now like i tested um copics and metallic paints on it so the way i feed sketchbooks nowadays are so much more different than it than i did when i was a lot younger now did i already talk about how it flushes out your ideas i'm not sure i'm not following my notes <laughs> so it helps you practice oh i'll talk about this one let's put you over there let's close you as well so back in college, I went to um, I went through two fine arts classes. That's really for fine arts, and that was drawing and sketching, and painting, colored mediums, and all of that. So the prof there, should I mention his name? No, that's not. I don't want to disappoint him. Ha ha ha! Kidding. <laughs> um, my prof there required us to draw every day. Draw anything you want, just draw. And by the end of the week. You should have seven sketches at, in your drawing or seven more sketches. So at first I was drawing anime characters, Shinkahi no Kyojin. <laughs> I tried perspective because I was feeling cool and um, I had a lot of time to do it. I was doing random stuff to be honest. Um, but it helps you practice. So at first I was just doing whatever I wanted and then somewhere in the middle I was starting to run out of ideas. So I started drawing, I'll see if I can find it, I started drawing like, and I was waiting for my parents to pick me up that one night, I was waiting for them in this building that had stairs going down, I drew that, um, cause I needed to fill the notebook, I drew my glass on the table, I drew another glass on the table, um, I drew one of my shoes, just a shoe, cause I drew patterns, I started taking um, reference photos or I, from the internet just for the post. I drew a doorknob. But as you can see, I've started to get a lot better and more confident with what I do. And that's what it's meant to do. Drawing every day is not just because you should do it or you'll improve faster. Yes, you will improve faster. But that's not the only underlying but that's not the only reason you do it. It's also because it builds up confidence and 
because you're starting to get desperate to to draw things because I have a grade on the line or in YouTubers case uh, my followers will be disappointed in me the need to fulfill that starts making you um, draw more things that you won't draw usually or you won't or it's not something just from your from your head for example this I drew my dad sleeping <laughs> on the couch and he, he changed positions I drew him again uh, I drew a, a bowl and the glass on the table but as you can see I started getting a lot looser a lot more confident I feel and I started to improve and started being more open to what I can do as an artist and that's also what your sketchbook should be able to do for you. It shouldn't inspire fear or anything. It should inspire confidence and being, you know, just being true to yourself as an artist. Now, I did say that you should draw every day. It's a suggestion over a command. I mean, who am I commanding? No one. Um, if you can't draw every day, I would suggest maybe join every month. One month and maybe before you do that final piece of yours in that fancy paper do it on a sketchbook first that's already one drawing for one month two drawings rather actually and then start upping it to maybe twice a month twice a month um, once a week twice a week thrice a week every day it becomes a habit I was forced to do it every day from the start and I don't do it every day actually, but I sort of do. I'm starting to do it again now, but it builds a habit of being able to draw in a sketchbook. And I hope, you know, you got something out of this. I hope that it wasn't too rambly or, you know, too out over the place. I do have notes, but I did not pay much attention to them. I tried doing scripted videos, but they don't always work. So. To summarize, TLDR, ooh, keep a sketchbook because one, it helps you build your confidence. Two, it actually helps improve your art because you sketch it out first and you can check your composition first and I'll talk about that in the thumbnailing video after this. Um, it practices your hand, your mind, your eyes on drawing or how to draw. It flushes out your ideas to make it more juicy. <laughs> Uh, it's a way to study and learn and it doesn't need to be fancy it can be as sketchy and messy and ragged and beaten up as you want it to be uh, you don't need to draw every day but i do recommend it and it doesn't need much effort your sketchbook shouldn't drain energy from you and that's pretty much it I, it's a bit of a long video how, how long have i been recording it's almost 20 minutes <laughs> um, these are all the sketchbooks. No, no, I'm gonna lie. This isn't all my sketchbooks. I'm gonna show you all my sketchbooks. Sketchbooks, actually. Let's detach your, your, you guys from here. You'll see my setup a little bit. So, that's some of my sketchbooks, excluding this one. But when you move up here, these are all sketchbooks. These were from high school, mainly the. Uh, Corona and Best Buy ones and this was also from high school this was already starting in college um, this is also from college this is one of my finished work sketchbooks so that a lot of my finished pieces are in there and I have a lot more actually let's move over here I have a lot more sketchbooks it's dark so you probably can't see it but this is all my sketchbooks in there and you start building up your sketchbooks and they start being nice to see and um, i mean i love it whenever i look up like this that there's this huge pile of sketchbooks that i've managed to finish that means i've been doing a lot of art even though i feel like i haven't and yeah yeah that's my um what do you call that case study for sketchbooks but i think that's the wrong term for it but that's my argument for sketchbooks. If you want to see me actually doing a tour on all of these old sketchbooks, I know I've done a tour on this one and this one. But if you want to see the sketchbooks that I had from elementary, high school, college, 
just let me know in the comments. Um, I'd be happy to do it. Actually, I might even do it even without you guys starting to do it. But I would like to know if you guys want to see that and if it would be interesting. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I'm tired <laughs> from talking now. Um, please follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and DeviantArt. Like or subscribe if you enjoyed this type of content. I usually draw anime stuff and fan art and whatever the heck. <laughs> and I'll see you around.